I'm Della Cruz. Thank you very much for joining us. Today we're putting the spotlight on three very creative people from Middlesex and Passaic counties. My first guest is a gifted artist from West Milford. Eugene Lagana is a learning and development manager with a passion, people, for photography. Welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome. It's so good to have you here. Yeah. You know, I got started in photography because I was always a technology guy. Uh, and I had the, the fortunate experience of working with a creative group, and they taught me how to use Photoshop. Uh, I remember seeing a, a macro picture that I really loved, and I said, boy, I'm going to go home and try that. So I took my camera, I set it to the uh, flower icon for macro, and I took a couple of pictures, and it never came out of me good. So I kept upgrading and upgrading my cameras and uh, finally when I made the break to an SLR camera I really started to get some great photography. You know my grandfather was also a big influence on me. He uh, took thousands of pictures in his lifetime. These are some of his cameras actually. I love the tools of your trade. Yeah. What do we have here? <laughs> yeah they're really fantastic. A Browning, uh, a Fuji and a uh, Yashica uh, camera that he used and, and we have all his pictures. We put them online and everything and it's it's been fantastic to look back and, and see what he captured. It's been really good. So your grandfather was a big influence. Yeah, he was. He was. Yeah. yeah. You also have a website related to your photography. Yes, I do. You know, uh, because I'm a learning and a development uh, manager, uh, I took my experiences with learning about photography and I created videos online um, so people can watch the videos and learn how to do these things. I also created a map of New Jersey with all the great locations. You know, New Jersey is really uh, famous for being a great place for photography. We have unprecedented views of the Manhattan skyline. We have beautiful shore areas that you could take pictures of and we have great parks throughout the state with bird sanctuaries and a lot of great places to go and visit and all those sites are listed on my website. You can click on uh, one of the locations. A picture will come up that I took at the site. There's links giving you more information about the site. It lists any fees if available and um, there's also Google Maps to get your directions to it and I even have all the camera settings to the picture that I took at that site so you can learn and see what you would do and go out to those sites and, and take some great photo Why photography. Why was it so important to you, Eugene, to offer this site and the free videos to teach people? Well, you know, I, I just think that um, it, it, we're, I'm always hungry for a, a, a subject to shoot. And I'm always looking around. I bought books on uh, uh, daily projects or weekly projects on photography. And uh, that site will enable you to select the location. And sometimes it's enjoyable for the whole family. They're great tourist sites. And, uh, and you, a lot of times there's no fees or anything. You can go to these sites, take great photography. And we, there's even information on my website, uh, eugenelagana.com, uh, so you can start to prepare to take your photography at those sites. I I was first introduced to your beautiful pictures in your brother's office, his medical office there at Backsmart Wellness yes, Center. Yes, yes. What makes your pictures so unique? Well, you know, um, I really take my time with my photography and I explore different avenues of photography. Um, you know, sometimes technology can be a burden to you. If, if we have really fast cameras that take, you know, hundreds of pictures in just a short period of time. If you think about what Ansel Adams was doing, you know, he had to load a, uh, a uh, film for every single picture that he took. Nowadays, you can um, get a camera and fire off hundreds of pictures and not really take your time and get a quality photograph. You know, so I think that's an important lesson. You brought in three pieces of artwork today on easels. Yes. Tell us about each one and take your time sure. beginning with this one. The first picture is a obviously a dock out into a lake and that's an HDR picture where you take three pictures bracketed, a lower exposure, a regular exposed picture, and an overexposed picture and blend them together in the computer and you get the full dynamic range of uh, colors and and detail in that picture. You could see the clouds aren't blown out. The the leaves around the frame are uh, they were pretty dark, but all the detail is there in them. And that's an HDR picture, which stands for high dynamic range. And moving on to the next one. Moving on to the next picture is uh, a Beautiful picture. Beautiful skyline. Yeah, yeah. That's the George Washington Bridge from the Fort Lee Historic Park, and that's a long. Ex 
exposure picture. That picture took 30 seconds to take. Really? Like, yeah, that's a 30 second exposure and you could see all the great things that that type of photography does. You certainly have to have a tripod, you could never hold a camera still for that long mm -hmm. and you could see how it brought out all the colors, it sort of washed the water, the car lights above and, and, and the lower deck just sort of streak across and uh, it's really been a fantastic photo. It won a couple of awards and, and I can uh, see why it's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, thank you. What advice would you offer to people who are just getting started? You know, I, the first thing I would do is take that big memory card you have in your camera and take it out. Go get a smaller memory card and limit yourself to how many pictures you take in a single day. Go out and tell yourself, I want to take 10 photos today, not 150 or 200 pictures. I want to take 10 photos and I want to make each one of them count. You know, uh, and the you other have one more photograph we want to see on oh, an easel. Oh, okay, which sure. Is absolutely the next photo uh, we're going to look at is a macro photo, and this is really fun for me. I like to um, set up these scenes and sort of tell a story with these little figurines. Um, he's uh, less than an inch tall, that little guy, and uh, there's really a lot you could do with those um, those figurines. You have so many techniques. If people want you to take pictures for them, how can they contact you, and what should they do? Uh, go to my website. Go to eugenelagana.com and there's a contact page and you can send me a message and um, I'd be glad to uh, work with whatever project you have. You're also um, a learning and development manager too. How do you find yes. time for photography? But I guess you make the time. <laughs> well, it's really been an advantage because now I can uh, take what I've learned in photography and create videos with it and share it with people on my site and uh, it's really a great resource. You know, I, I bookmark a lot of websites that help me with photography and I think this uh, will rate there with one of those those uh, good good uh, resources online. Well, you um, keep up this beautiful work. We appreciate oh, your coming to share Oh, thank you so it. much. Thank, thank you, you so much, much. Lugene Lagano. Okay. I appreciate it. All right. Next, we will chat with a young man pursuing video production. That PSA gets me every time. That video was produced by Frankie Lagana of Pasea County. He is my second guest here on Spotlight, New Jersey. Frankie is studying video production at West Milford High School, and thank you for joining us. Thank you, yeah. How did you get interested in video? Um, it's not like every story where, like, like Steven Spielberg, he said his dad gave him a camera when he was younger, and he's been filming ever since. I was just watching TV one day, and the show came on kind of called I, I Carly. And they put little webisodes on the internet. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. And um, I started doing that, and I started doing it with my friends. And we would just film a video every week and put it on my website. Um, and then it just became like a thing for me. I started getting into cameras. I started getting into editing. And like it was just so much fun. And like especially seeing that final product mm -hmm. like of the video that you've made, it's like, OK, like, I just created this. Like This is really f like cool. That's such a rush. It yeah. really is. Of course, that creative streak runs in the family, doesn't it? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> that message you had in that video was powerful. Who You mentioned Steven Spielberg. So is he your biggest inspiration in the movie world? Actually, not the biggest. Oh, He's okay. one of my inspirations. Um, but right now, my two biggest biggest inspirations are Quentin Tarantino of course and Wes Anderson interesting mix yeah. Why? Um, okay well Quentin Tarantino I've been watching his uh, movies only for like a couple years now but every time I watch his movies they just really make me think like when I watch a movie I don't really watch it anymore for just an entertainment factor I watch it so I can like study the movie in a way like and, and just make, let it make me like have a thought or, like what it was about and every time I watch his movies it's just like okay that was an insane movie like let me think about this let me look it up like why did he put that in the movie and it's just really, really cool. So you want people to walk away feeling something, exactly, yeah. getting a message from exactly. your videos. What is the hardest thing you have faced when wanting to record or edit a video? Okay, like honestly, it's not editing or filming that's the hardest part. It's like the laziness factor. Huh? <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll be honest, it's the no motivation. Like, I have to have motivation to get up, to set up my camera, to like open my computer, start editing. It's just 
I'm just lazy sometimes. I think that's the hardest part. It sounds weird, and it's no. I guess we need motivation to get up and exercise. So it's the same thing. Uh, yeah, kind of, because it's like it's fun for me, but it's like, oh, I have to invite people over today, and like I got to <laughs> film, and it's just like that's that's the hardest part, really. And I don't know why. I mean, what do you do to motivate it's... yourself? Do you play music? Um, yeah. I, I play music, and I actually I'll go on and watch other. Uh, YouTube videos and I'll watch other movies just like okay they're making like this art and this beautiful like masterpiece I want to do this so then that like really pushed me like Frankie let's go and so yeah and then Frankie gets up and goes stay with us we'll be right back and go more with Frankie right after the break so you're at a party much like this one and we all know you're gonna put some of that party into you we know the first thing you do is call a friend right but you don't however Little did you know, the moment you get in your car, you're setting off a time bomb to the end of your life. Or someone else's. Soon enough, the party life won't seem so fun after all. So next time you think of drinking and driving... Think again. Wow, that is powerful. That was another video produced by Frankie Lagana of Passaic County. He's studying video production at West Milford High School. Frankie, I promise, I won't drink and drive. I won't text and okay. drive. You are really, really good and powerful <laughs> with those messages, you know? Thank you, thank you. Um, do your friends and family support what you do? Uh, yes, and like, I'm really thankful that I can like say that because I have friends who, you know, who their parents don't want them to do what they want to do. And like, they, oh, go, you know, be a doctor, for example, or, or, you know, just do like, you know, make us proud in a way. And I'm so thankful that I have, you know, both my parents and my friends saying, you know, what you're doing is awesome. Like, do what makes you happy. Like, you know, obviously, and that's, it's so cool. Um, for my friends, it's, that's the most fun part, like inviting them over, hanging out, like literally the every like minute Every other minute or so, when we're filming, we're just joking and like laughing around, and we have like million bloopers compared to like the 50 real clips. Who do you want to clips. credit? Um, I'd like to thank uh, my friend Garrett, especially because he comes over. The way we spend hours together, just thinking of ideas, and like it's it's so hard just to think of a good idea. We spend hours together making videos. Um, my friend James, he always helps me come up with ideas and writes amazing stories. And then um, my friend um, Liam, he helps me edit all the time, and he's a he's a really great editor who we collaborate with a lot. And how can people get a hold of you if they want you to produce a video for them or they want to buy your products? <laughs> <laughs> um, you can find me on YouTube, youtube.com slash franklagana. And then you can find me on my website, frankielagana.com, uh, still in the works. And then you can uh, tweet me on Twitter, uh, which is uh, twitter.com slash franklagana. And I tweet a lot, sadly. So, <laughs> but, um, and then, uh, yeah, that's really about it. So for people who've noticed, it runs in the family, right? Dad Eugene was in the first segment, so that <laughs> yeah. creative streak is in the family. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. What do you plan on doing with film next in your life? This is definitely the most like question I get the most. Um, I really want to just keep making shorts, keep making uh, skits, just keep posting my YouTube uh, as much as I can, just to you know maybe get noticed. And then I really plan on going to film school. Um, that's like the next thing for college, of course. Um, Have you picked out a school? I haven't. I've been looking in a few uh, few schools in Florida and California. Good uh, places. Yeah, um, warm, right? Yes. But um, <laughs> other than that, I want to do freelance work. You know, maybe just do some projects here and there for other people and just make a little money. I guess I don't know. And I just have fun with doing it because it's just do whatever video I can do in my life, I'll do it because I love it. You've said it. When you find what you love to do in life, you never work again. Exactly. Thank you so exactly. much and good luck, Frankie. Thank you. It's been my pleasure talking to you. Yeah, you too. And come back and put me in a film too. I belong to SAG after. Okay. <laughs> okay, sounds Thank good. You. <laughs>